I guys, I'm sorry. This is a this is a rant. I don't care if you guys wanted like you know some kind of like video on John James. It's coming tomorrow, but I needed to rant about this because I am sick and tired of being silent about this because. Flat out, I thought things were going to get, you know, better. I thought, okay, a lot of the lawsuits and crap, they're just overblown. It's not going to do much. Well, I was wrong. And, my God, redistricting has become a joke in this country. It has been for years. But in the past couple weeks or so, it's gotten absurdly idiotic. In the past 24 hours in particular, shit is going down in several states that I can't just be silent about because it is bullshit flat out that's what it is it's a bunch of horse shit that one party is able to get away with so many shenanigans but when the republican party makes a slight gerrymander immediately the entire law system the courts all of that suddenly care about redistricting rights and strike down every map so if you don't know what i'm talking about let's go to new york they just propose a new map. See this? Just go down here. Notice anything wrong with some of these districts. Notice anything wrong with New York's 10th, where, where the penguin is. Notice anything? What in the world is this? The old map, it was disgusting, but it's gotten worse. Look at this. It s skips over. I believe that is water there. And to, what is this? These maps are disgusting. And that's why I'm sick and tired of being quiet about this. What is this? This is disgusting. Why are districts drawn like this? You know why? Because it's rigged. Alright, redistricting in this country is rigged. I mean, look at New York's third. It went from, okay, you know, there's this couple spots here and there. But other than that kind of clean to this monstrosity my question is this how are these voters out in the i think that's Suffolk county i think that's the county here how are they similar to those in new york city how and up here you're going closer albany at this point might as well just keep drawing a straight line all the way to freaking albany what is this and you go over here look at this it was relatively clean here on Long Island. They did this crap. I absolutely hate it when either party does this. They, okay, it's a relatively clean, you know, compact-ish map. And then do the shit where they draw these lines. I hate these districts that have these just absurd, just angles and lines that make it look disgusting. But you know what the worst part is? Again, New York's 10th and all these districts here. Why isn't there district that is predominantly orthodox jewish now i'm not one of those people that think it should be based on religion or race redistricting but why do the voters up here in the bronx have in commons with the with queens i think right here yeah i think it's queens whatever it is you get the point manhattan whatever i, I can't remember exactly but there's i know there's a jewish population down here why are they split up in like five fucking districts but somehow they we end up in the same district where there's a heavy Hispanic population. What? New York City is like 13% Jewish, but there's no majority Jewish districts. Why? Because they're all white. That is the disgusting part about this. If they were, I, I know this is oxymoron, if they were Hispanic or black Jewish people, Orthodox Jews, there would be hundreds of districts in this area. But because they're white predominantly, it's a big fat fuck you. And look at the rest of this state. Look at this. I mean, up here, it was actually fairly clean. Considering the fact, you know, fairly clean, you know, most communities stay together. That's what's important with redistricting. Not race, not this, oh, well, the VRA said so. No, the communities stayed in the same district. I mean, out here in Buffalo... They have their different values in up here than up upper New York. Completely different values. And then you get this. Why? <laughs> just why? It's disgusting. It's just... Look. 
I am fine with parties that control the state legislator gerrymandering and redistricting. That's the point of state legislators. But when they do this crap and get away with it, make maps look disgusting, hideous. I mean, flat out, this is voter suppression. You talk about voter suppression, it's splitting up communities right next to each other. I mean, why is Albany split up? Why? What purpose does that serve? You know what it does? It gets Democrats extra seats. Now, this map, according to the left, is perfectly stable and safe and all that nonsense. But let's go down to Mississippi. No, not Mississippi. Uh, let's see here. Where is it? Where is it? I think it's Arizona. No. One of these. Where is it? Texas. Texas. That is it. Texas. Now, I agree. I, I think these. this is hideous. I hate this. This garbage of just... Oh, well, you see here, we're going to just do this crap. I hate this. This I do agree with. This is hideous. But for the rest of the state, you know, yeah, relatively fine. Houston, they actually cleaned up a little bit, made it a bit cleaner. But somehow, this is an attack on our democracy. This map. And again, I do agree some of these districts just, what is this? I just hate this. But... Why is this map perfectly, just completely against the law and somehow voter suppression when New York does this crap? I mean, what's the difference? New York's more absurd because you're having these just completely different communities jammed back into the same count, uh, district. It's a complete scam. And then also, you go down to Alabama. This is another thing that's just absurd. What is this? This was the old map. Okay, fine. Clean up Alabama 6th, 7th, and the 4th. Fine, I agree with that. These maps should be cleaned. This is a map the left thinks is fair. What is this? They split in half Alabama's 1st. They make this monstrosity. And guess what? This is a VRA map, a VRA district. They're trying to stretch the living shit out of the VRA protected districts to make this a VRA protected district. I mean, look at this. It would be majority black. You already have one. You already have a substantially Democrat and black district. Why, why do you need any more? Look, I am fine with redistricting that is compact, clean, that keeps communities together. This doesn't do any of that. This is based on race solely. And this is why we need to get rid of race-based redistricting. Because this happens. This crap. I mean, they're trying to push this. Now, there has been some good maps passed surprisingly by the independent commissions. Colorado, for example. I like this. Yeah, there's some, maybe an issue here or there. And maybe Colorado's first or sixth. But other than that, you know, fairly clean. It's relatively compact, it's relatively competitive, and it's not this horse shit where Denver ends up in freaking Colorado Springs or something like that. So it is a clean map. But then you got New Mexico. Whites are a minority in this state, and they don't get any protections. Look at this. New Mexico 2nd, which is a majority white district, gets just gutted. I mean, what does southern New Mexico have in common with Albuquerque. What? I mean, what is the point of this? Look, if they didn't change it, it would have been fine. But instead, they went overboard with this. I mean, I know Democrats or Republicans have the full right to gerrymander however they want. But when they do these absurd redistricting, absurd redistricts, I should say, uh, districts, I should say, where, oh, you see, Baltimore... They're like 10% of the population. They should get relatively one, maybe two districts. Instead, they essentially control five or six. I mean, you just keep going on and on and on about this. So, where does it stop? This is where I do agree we need redistricting reform. Not in the independent commission bullshit. That has always been BS. There's no such thing as an independent commission. Have they begun this cycle? Yeah, because both parties stink at redistricting. I mean, one of the only good maps that was redistricted by the Republicans was probably Oklahoma. 
I mean, it was clean and really did not split the communities that much. I mean, it stayed relatively the same, just made it a little bit more Republican. Iowa, I wish it was a bit more Republican, but I do like the fact that, you know, they do it based on county. These are fine. If this is what these maps look like, there wouldn't be any issues. But it's VRA garbage that forces districts to be majority black or something like that. It forces states in some instances to make these horseshit maps that just look disgusting, but also gives one party essentially a monopoly over, oh, this is some VRA protected district. It has to be majority black or majority Hispanic, majority Asian. Or, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be shocked in five years with majority like gay or something like that. But meanwhile, whites, Jewish, Catholics, whatever. All right, my example was uh, Jewish whites in New York City. They get effed over. They get stuck in the same district with like 90% Hispanic precincts. That's not what you're supposed to do. How do they have the same values as that? That's a whole point of districts. They're supposed to share values. With its own district, not this garbage of splitting communities, drawing these straight lines through like 16 different cities. It's just a monstrosity. And this is a quick rant. I had to do this. I'm just fed up with this. I mean, if every map was done like by like Colorado standard, I would say, you know, it, most of these maps would be perfectly fine. In fact, it would actually benefit Republicans. Because, again, Texas... This was an inefficient way to split up Dallas and Houston. It just makes it look disgusting. You can do it significantly better. And the Houston, it's not the worst, considering there's other districts that look way worse, but it could have been done more effectively. But also, again, you can blame the VRA-protected garbage that forces states to make these districts just absurd to keep them the VRA status horseshit. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the quick rant, and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video.